After the recent update, you might have noticed an added section on the top of the Solid Extrude dialog. This new feature allows you to create presets for your extrudes, which can be really convenient. When it comes to Solid Extrudes, there is a wide range of options. It can be really troublesome to set these up, especially if you tend to do repeated extrudes in the same way. For example, I have created a preset that would allow me to perform a symmetrical thin extrude with the wall location at the center. With this preset, every time I start an extrude, I can select this from the drop down menu, and all the relevant options will be adjusted automatically. All I need to do is to select the profile and adjust the distance. Once you create this preset, it is not just available within a file that it is created in. It would also be available for future new files as well. Let's see how we can set this up. So I am in the process of extruding this line. At this moment, I have no presets available. I have selected the Thin Extrude option, set the direction to Symmetric, and set Wall Location to Center. If you wish to, you can also set the thickness and distance. These values will be saved as well. With all the options suggested, we are ready to create the preset. Click on the plus sign and name the preset. I would recommend to name the preset as descriptively as you can to reflect the options that you have selected. Click on the tick to save the preset. I'm going to exit out of this extrude and start afresh. Begin the extrude command. Go to the preset drop down and select the preset that we have just created. You can see immediately that the options have adjusted themselves according to what we have previously saved. We just need to select the profile. The extrude distance and thickness values are also as per what we have saved. We can adjust the values further if we need to. What happens if you change any of the previously set parameters? For example, let's change the direction to one side. An asterisk appears beside the preset, indicating that we have just modified the preset. You can override the existing preset by going to More and Save. Or you can choose to save this as another preset by hitting the plus sign. As a side note, if you choose not to create presets, Fusion automatically creates a last use preset, which remembers the options from the last extrude. After some testing, it seems that all the available options here are available to be saved into a preset, with the exception of the start conditions. From what I have seen so far, you can create presets in the following commands. Do let me know if there are other commands where this is available. I think this is pretty useful. Hopefully, in the future, we might even be able to create custom macro buttons that we can pin to a toolbar. Hope that this has been helpful. I will see you in the next one.